Happy Monday to everyone. I hope you had a great weekend. Today, you will need your calendar. You will need your coin math packet. We're going to talk about uh, the Sacagawea coin. You're going to need your opposite packet. If you have not done so yet, please cut these out. You can put them, put me on pause. There's two pages. Not that much cutting. You guys can do it. And you're going to need a piece of paper. I chose yellow construction paper to paste the opposites on. And I'll explain more what to do with that later. Okay, let's get started. First things first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job. On your calendar, I would like you to find the top of your calendar, the middle of your calendar, and the bottom of your calendar. Top, middle, bottom. Now, what information can you find on your calendar, on the top of your calendar specifically? I would like you to put your finger on the month. What month is it? So we use our calendar to give us information, right? And keep us organized. What month is it? Can you find the month? If you chose May, you are correct. May starts with an M. There it is, M. And who can find the year? Please put your finger on the year. You can sign the year 2020. Nice job. Excellent. You found the year. Good. And now here's the days of the week. So I want to find out what yesterday was. So I'm going to look on my calendar and I'm going to ask you to put your finger on yesterday's date, which was the 17th. Yesterday was Sunday. So if yesterday was Sunday, what's today? What's today? Is today Monday or is today Tuesday? Looking on your calendar, if yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday. Great job, good job. Keep your finger on your calendar now. I want to know if today is Monday, what will tomorrow be? What will tomorrow be? If today is Monday, what will tomorrow be? Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Excellent. Now looking at your calendar, I would like to know what yesterday's date was. Now we already established that yesterday was Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday the what? Put your finger on yesterday's date. Was yesterday the 17th or the 18th? If you guess the 17th, you are correct. Yesterday was the 17th. So if yesterday was the 17th, what is today? What is today? What number is today? Is today the 18th or the 19th? What comes after 17? Excellent, today is the 18th, good job. And if today is the 18th, then tomorrow will be Tuesday the 19th. You are doing such a great job with that. Looking outside, Let's talk about the weather. Let's see. Let's look at the weather. Now, if you can see, I'll see if I can get a picture of it. See my flag. Uh, maybe you can't see the flag. But you can see the trees. And the trees are what? They're waving in the wind. So what does that mean? What kind of weather are we having? If you can see the trees move and the leaves what kind of weather is that? It is windy. It is windy outside. It's windy. And what else did you see? Did you see the sun? Hopefully the sun is out by you, but by me, my neighborhood, it is cloudy. So when it's cloudy and it's windy, the temperature outside is cool. So if you're planning on going outside, I suggest you put a, um, a jacket on or a sweatshirt um, to check the mail or if you're going to be going for a walk because it is really good to exercise and get outside. 
Not only is it good for you physically, it's also really good for your mind. Okay, what kind of season is it? What season is it? Is it summer season or is it spring? What season is it? It is spring. It is springtime. Excellent. You guys are doing so well with that. Okay, I would like you to please get out your math packet. Treat a friend. Directions. The pop machine takes only dollar coins. What do they mean by pop machine? Oh, they mean a soda machine. Some people call um, soda, soda pop. So they'll say pop for short. Um, circle the dollar coins you will use to buy pop for your friends. All right, so we know that this is a dollar bill. It's worth 100 cents. And we know the Sacagawea coin is also a dollar, okay? Looks kind of like a quarter, but it's not. It gets a little confusing. It is worth a dollar. The Susan B. Anthony coin is also worth a dollar, but I do not have one available to show you. Next week I will. Um, or maybe thir Thursday. All right, so here we go. This is a Sacagawea coin. It's worth a dollar, so we're going to circle it. This is a half a dollar. How much is a half a dollar worth? 50 cents. Good. That is a Sacagawea coin. It's worth a dollar. And so is this. And so is this. You guys are doing awesome. Next row. This is a quarter. Now, if you look at this very um, quickly, this quarter and this Sacagawea coin look the same, but they are not. If you really look, you can see that this is the Sacagawea coin and that's a quarter. So you have to be very mindful of that. And when you're doing your work, you can't just guess to get it over with and done. You really need to look. So you need to use your eyes and you need to scan and look left to right, up to down, down to up. That's what scanning is about. And it's okay, you take your time. Okay, should we circle this? What coin are we looking for? Is that a dollar Sacagawea coin? Absolutely. Yes, we're going to circle that. What about this one? Be careful now. They're trying to trick us. Does this one look like this one? Yes. So we're going to circle it. But this one we have to look carefully at. That is not the same as a Sacagawea dollar coin. That is a quarter. So we are not circling that. This is a Sacagawea. We're going to circle that. Worth a dollar. That's a big coin right there. What coin is that big? What is like the biggest coin? It's the half a dollar and it's worth 50 cents. That's a quarter. That's another half a dollar worth 50 cents. And the last coin is a dollar Sacagawea coin. Very good. So... How many cans of soda or pop can you buy? Well, let's count how many dollars we have circled. And I want you all to count with me, nice and loud. Ready? One, two, three, four, good scanning, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many cans of soda can we buy? We can buy nine because we have nine coins. So nine coins equal nine dollars. And that's a lot. That's a lot of money. Nine dollars is a lot of money. Okay, let's turn this over to the next page that's on the back. What equals a dollar? Well, There are money bills, dollar bills that equal a dollar, and there are coins that equal a dollar. So let's read the directions. And please, this is a reminder, I know you're doing this, please make sure you put your name and the date on all of your work. I appreciate it, I want you to get credit. Circle the coins that equal a dollar. Okay, so again, we just did this. You're an expert on it by now. We are going to circle the coins 
that equal a dollar, which would be the Sacagawea coin. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. There she is, Sacagawea. We're going to circle. That is the back of the Sacagawea coin. So if you look, it's a bird in flight, an eagle. That is the biggest coin, which is a half a dollar. We're not circling that. That is a quarter worth 25 cents. We're not circling that. Up oh, there's the Sacagawea coin. There's Sacagawea. That's a quarter, 25 cents. Nope. Quarter, 25 cents. Nope. We're looking for the dollar one. There's a dollar coin. That's a quarter, 25 cents, quarter, 25 cents. Nope, we're looking for the Sacagawea dollar coin, and we found it right here. Circle it, and the last coin is the very, very large half a dollar coin. We are not circling that because that is only worth a half a dollar, which is what? 50 cents. Good job. Now we need to circle the bills that equal a dollar. Now, I know we haven't done this in a while, but when you look at a bill, how do you know how much the bill is worth? Where do you look to find out the um, value of the dollar? You look in the corners, right? So this dollar is worth what? How much money is it worth? Well, I see the number one at the corner. So that means it is worth one dollar, a hundred cents. So we need to find the money that's worth $1. Now this first one, if you look in the corner, that says 10. So that's too much. That's not a dollar. But if you look at this one in the corner, it says 1. So we're going to circle that because it is worth $1. Good job. What number is on the corner of this bill? Can you see? That would be a five. Nope, five is more than one. We don't want that one. What about this one? Let's look at the corner. Oh, I see one. That is a dollar bill. This one, if we look at the corner, we see a one and a zero. That's $10, that's too much. This one says what? Did you find it? That's the back of a dollar bill and that's one. Good, so we're gonna circle it. What about this one, are we circling this one? No, because it has a five on it. But what about this one? This one has a one on it, so we are going to circle that. Great job, you guys did a really good job. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing, who am I, okay? Now, if you would be so kind as to get out your opposites page, we're going to talk about opposites. As you can see, I have not cut mine out. So I am going to do that now. And I also, while I'm cutting mine out, can you please get a piece of paper? And we're going to take this paper and we're going to fold it in half. And then we're going to make a crease because we need two sides, okay? One, two. And you're going to need a glue stick. So let's start cutting. Okay, is everyone ready? Are your opposite squares cut out? Great. Let's begin. Now I just have them spread out in front of me and I'm just going to pick one up randomly. So, I'm going to pick up big. I'm going to pick up big. What is the opposite of, were you able to find the opposite of big? Well, I am going to take my elephant, which is big, and I'm going to glue him on one side of the paper. Doesn't matter which one. There. Big. I 
found a mouse. A mouse is very what? Little, sorry, little. That is the opposite of big. The opposite of big is little. So glue the mouse on the other side of the paper. Okay. The next picture that I'm choosing is straight. The girl's hair is straight. What is the opposite of straight hair? Curly hair. See, they're different. The opposite of straight is curly and vice versa. All right, so you're going to glue the person with the curly hair on one side of your paper and the person with the straight hair on the opposite side of the paper. Okay, the next one. Let's do up and down. Now, can you look at these arrows and see that they're pointing in opposite directions? This arrow is pointing up and this arrow is pointing down. They are going in opposite directions. So let's paste them onto our construction paper. And remember, you're going to put them on opposite sides of the paper. Good job. Let's do another one. Are your eyes open? Your eyes are open. I would like you to close your eyes. Close them now. The opposite of open is closed. Open your eyes. That is an open eye and this is a closed eye. So the opposite of open is closed. Keep gluing. Now, when you run out of room, like I have, you can turn your paper. Okay, so you can see I've run out of room, so I am going to turn my paper around and I'm going to use the opposite side of the paper. Now I have plenty of room and I still have my crease to separate the opposites. Okay, what is the opposite of happy? Look, this cat is very happy. I hope you all are happy today. But the opposite of happy is sad. But I want you all to be happy. The opposite of happy is sad. So we're going to put happy on one side of our paper. And we're going to put sad on the other side. Okay, the next one, front and back. This is the front side of a person's head. You can see their face, that is the front. When they turn their head, this is the back of their head. Okay, some people have hair, some people don't have hair. That is the front of someone's head and that is the back. So let's paste them. It doesn't matter where you paste it as long as it's on opposite sides. And everybody's going to look different. Everybody's paper is going to look different. And that's the beauty of things because we all don't see things the same way and we all don't do things um, the same. Uh, but that's okay because there's different ways to do things and everybody learns differently. Okay. The next one is plain and fancy. Plain and fancy. Let's look at these two. 
What do those words mean, plain and fancy? Well, let's look at the pictures. If we look at this flower pot, there's a design on this flower pot. Like, it looks very detailed. And this flower pot does not have a design. It looks very plain. So, this would be a fancy flower pot because it's decorated, and this would be a plain one because it is not. So fancy and plain are opposites. Let's glue them onto our page. Fancy and plain. Can you say those words? Fancy and plain. And when you speak, you have to move your mouth. You have to make an effort and you have to move your lips. You guys are doing a great job. Okay. Let's do empty and full. Which glass is empty? Touch the empty glass. That would be this one because it doesn't have any ice in it. Touch the full glass. That would be this one because you see there's it's full of something. It's full of what? There's ice cubes in there and there's a straw. And this is empty because this glass doesn't have anything in it. There's nothing in it. All right, so let's paste them on opposite sides. And then we're going to do one more right in the middle. And what is the last two that we have? We have the sun and the moon. So the sun and the moon are opposites, and the reason being is the sun is the daytime and the moon comes out at night. The sun comes out in the daytime and the moon comes out at night. So they are opposites. So we'll put them next to each other. There you have it. You did a great job. Um, tomorrow, you're going to be using your neighborhood packet. We're going to be talking about how neighborhoods change. So you're going to be doing page 16 and 17. And you're going to be doing your Who Am I page on your coin packet, in your coin packet. You did a great job. Please make sure you put your supplies away. Make sure you cover your glue stick so it doesn't dry out. I am looking forward to working with you tomorrow. Enjoy your day.